Sergeant Kenai here reported for duty last we left off in Mars colonization. We unlocked a monument, I know that much. We got a 21 population, a lot of our people died. We have challenges right here. I just realized that they were here. This is how you unlock the other stuff, you know, like the other thing bombs for the um, uh, bottom building things. You know how they have the, un the locked buttons. But uh, yeah, that's each one of those seems like they would take a very long time, and I don't think I would ever do them. <laughs> like, those ones seem like full-on playthroughs of this, and unless you guys really, really want to see them, then I'm not going to do them. Um, so that's up to you guys. Alright, so this doesn't have any more stuff hanging around in it. That's completely fine. Um, one of the things that I wanted to start doing, let's select a micro thing, bob for this. Um, let's, fuck it, let's put this one in there. Have fun, buddy. Have fun in there. Let's uh, generate some more um, whatchamacalls of these. Alright, so great. This done pretty well. Has a good soul quality on it. I'm Soil quality, not soul quality. I'm going to put in one more. Um, whatchamacall, improve, maintain, you know, soil quality. So let's see here. What can we do as a, as a, a colony? What can we do? So we, let's look at our build. We have everything built here, other than, you know, terraforming product, radar, and which we don't have unlocked, and the monument. But we don't want to do the monument yet, because I don't feel like we have the ability to really be able to do it. Um, and, and to be able to set that up, we would have to create an area in which we can produce a lot of supplies. Now, I think I'm actually going to start working on that. To be able to do that, you have to have... Uh, um, what is it? You have to have 3D printers to be able to make storage, you know, or storage containers or things for your pallets. Um, one of the things we also need to do is launch a weather satellite. I believe that will unlock the radar for us. Um, it looks like our genetics had just finished, so let's look at it. Um, doesn't look like our genetics can get any better than they currently are. They're exactly the same, so let's uh, grab this. Mm, let's get rid of this one. So we have these two, which are pretty much exactly the same. Let's grab these. Let's put this on there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, 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 no. Let's put... Let's get rid of this. Grab this. Actually, which one of the... Are they exactly the same? They look exactly the same. And let's put this on here. Because they need to be able to survive uh, radiation presidents. Or pre presents, not presidents. The radiation presidents. No, that's, that's not how it works at all. Um, so let's see here. Alright, so let's start setting up pallets for days. We want to set up a lot of... Oh, let's launch this motherfucker out of here. Hold on. Hold on. Get out of here. Refuel launch. We don't need that here anymore. We have more than enough beds and things that I like to be able to support our structures. And let's see here. Alright, so we want to, like I said, lots, of, lots and lots of pallets. So let's uh, tab rotate and start here. I mean, build another pallet here, and where's our last astronaut? Here he is. And then build this pallet here, and then just keep on going building pallets. And then we're gonna start working on building um, 3D printers on every single one of these, so that we never run out of materials. More than likely, we're not gonna need that much more materials, anyways. I think six is probably fine. It seems good to me, like 6 keeps up a pretty good balance overall. Whoa, stop freaking out. And let's start building 3D printers. 3D printers, you know, they're kind of expensive. But in the long run, it's it's better. Alright, that's what I'm saying. In the long run, it's going to be really nice. Let's grab this dude and build another 3D printer. It's going to take up a lot of our supplies. I'm not denying that. It's going to take up a shit ton of them, really. Okay, so this didn't actually didn't do that well. Um... It did actually kind of poop, so let's let's get rid of this, and then let's uh, combine recombine it with um, the green stuff. We're running out of the green stuff. That's not good. Okay, maybe we should stop. You know, not focus on that. Actually, maybe we should just not focus on that, and we should grab stop freaking touching him. That's a, such an annoying bug. Um, we can make this one a little bit better by increasing. Let's see, what does this one look like? What's our really good ones look like? They have more radiation protection, it looks like. So if we grab this one, 
You know what? Let's combine these ones. Screw it. Let's see what it does. Hopefully it's good. If it's not, boohoo, we'll throw it away. All right, where where did our our bros go? So there's one right there. Let's build uh, another 3D printer, and then build another 3D printer, and then our last dude build the last 3D printer, and then um, once they're done with that, we can disable one of these. Let's automate these. Auto print, auto print, auto print. Okay, so it is actually taking our ores now. All right. But it's going to allow us to carry it like a shit ton of supplies. In the meantime, at least for now, you know, we don't got to worry about it. Um, I'm not sure how much it's going to take each one. It seems like it's going to take a lot. It really does. It really, really does. So I kind of want to upgrade our refinery again. Where's our bulldozer? All right, bulldozer bro, you're going to have to bring some rocks over there. Because we desperately need rocks to increase our efficiency with ore. Come on, buddy. Moving on over. It's so loud. I wish it wasn't so loud. If it wasn't so loud, it'd be so much more enjoyable. Whoa. You're freaking out over there. You need to calm down. All right. Yeah, it's taking a lot of ore, like, really, really quickly. Which isn't that good. Move this on out of the way. Where are you going? I don't know. There we go. How much was that? 66%? Let's go grab another ore over here. Let's go send this dude out here. Hopefully he'll reach there in no time. Yeah, it's taking it's taking quite a lot of ore. Maybe it just takes a lot of ore to start it off because it seems like it created another one and we haven't lost a lot of ore. Maybe it just requires an initial amount to start it? Let's see. Automate, auto print, auto print. I clicked on the wrong thing. I'm trying to click on this. Auto print. There we go. Hmm. Well, if we run out of ore, it's really not that big of a deal, to be 100% honest. What are you doing? Why did you stop moving? Why you do this to me, bro? Send you over here. You're probably going to hit that rock. So let's do that. Um, how's this going? These are all alive and well, right? Except, uh, no, that one's doing well, too. Okay. That one's doing pretty well. Let's look at our micro, you know, genetics. Let's see. Well, that one is fucking amazing oh my god but it's not as good as these definitely not wait I don't think it's as good as these How, what do these look like hold on this is what's the one connected to this I have absolutely no idea it just says how much food it's giving us hmm yeah we're running out of ore really fast I don't like that not one bit let's go increase our geology bullshit let's send you over here to mine no, no, no. Damn it. Go right here. Mine. Mine all that shit up. And then click on you. It's so hard to control these guys sometimes. See, what I'm worried about is, like, how are we going to have enough supplies in the future? Like, sure, we got tons of ore, kind of, but not, like, an ass ton. We're going to run out eventually. That's what, And that's what I'm afraid of. We're definitely going to run out. There we go, research complete. Let's do another one. We need a thousand kilograms of ore and three boulders. So we don't have a thousand kilograms of ore anymore because we've been producing a crap ton of this, so that's unfortunate for us. Let's uh, refuel and launch this off since we don't need it anymore. Launch, there we go. Clicking on random shit all the time and since we have the ability to let is launch off some uh, weather satellites. Let's do like, oh wait, we can only do one? I think we can only do one. Yes, let us go and launch that weather satellite off. I don't know where it's going to go. I don't think we need to land it anywhere, so it should be fine. Weather satellite deployed, monitor, and weather predicts events by building ra uh, radar arrays. So yeah, now we have that going on. Radar arrays and all that gym jazz. Move. Come on. Why are you not... Hello? I think the game maybe glitched or is this guy stuck? Whatever, let's just tell him to mine. Let's tell him to move. There we go. Right, move right here. Yeah, that's the best spot. How much ore does he have on him right now? That's what I'm curious about. He's got a lot of ore and he's about to have a lot more. Um, we'll probably tell him to go get some clay soon too. How's this going? 
This, yeah, this is just absolutely amazing when we combine these two strains together. Um, let's get rid of this, like, shittiest strain in the world and do another combination of these two. Alright, and then let's start building some more farms. Let's build some more farms. Farms for days, boys. Let's go. And then, uh, switch to another one and tell you to build another farm right here. Right? Both of these guys are building farms? At least I hope so. Maybe not. If that guy's going to do something, that guy's doing something. This one is not, so let us grab him and have him put a farm right right here, right? There we go. Three more farms. It's going to be a lot more food. It's going to be a lot more room for people to come in and, you know, have have their good old times. Dust Devil Imminent. Im -im Alright. So this, this guy's done. Let's build a radar. This is going to require three energy, but we can put it anywhere. I'm going to, like, try and tuck it in over... over here, maybe? Yeah, over here seems like a pretty good spot since we're not really going to be doing anything else. It's going to require a lot. And then I, th I think we might finish this with this episode. If, if things keep going the way they are, we might be able to throw a monument down and be done with this area. We might do one more deployment of a giant rocket and then put nothing but freaking supplies on it just to have like a lot of supplies but until then we will not be doing that let's can we wait set mode I could set a mode on this oh you want it normal okay um, it looks like auto print is all off I think it, that's what it looks like all of these are hmm I wonder if they all operate at the same time like you can auto print everything and then turn it off that'd be really cool at least this is really close. There we go, we got ourselves a radar. Weather warning, 10 seconds, so we have more time to warn ourselves. Cool, cool, cool. That means we can also do armor upgrades. This guy is done, so let's return him to the refinery. We have how much? 85% you know, efficiency on that? That's nice. That's nice. I think I'm going to start uh, destroying these pallets though. Base, base, do you read me? Because there's no reason for these extra pallets to be here. At least for the meantime. Well, no, we can leave them there. We can definitely leave them there. We should probably build more geothermal plants because we still want to do the big uh, terraforming project and that's going to take quite a lot of time. Let's see here. All right, these are all good. No plants have died, so that's, that's always uh, fantastic. We need to select the new plant for this, so let's do that 2.1. Put a 2.1 on here and another 2.1. Let's see how this went. It made a Celio Thermos. That looks like really good too. Oh, it made the exact same one. Fantastic. Fantastic. That's really good. We got a lot of them now. Amazing. So it looks like our, you know, our place is becoming pretty self-sufficient. Yo, auto print off. Okay, never. Fucking son of a bitch. Stop that shit. Auto print off. We don't need auto printing here. There we go. It's all off, right? And it's just gonna finish the box. So I don't want to be spending like ten thousand freaking um, what you call it, and uh, run out of room. So we're we're building stuff. We're upgrading our hallway armor. That's gonna be nice. It's gonna be you know nice and defenseful. And then uh, I think we'll place down a monument pretty soon here. We have a couple more days until we can launch off another rocket, and then we'll place down our monument, and then be close to being able to do a terraforming project, hopefully. We should probably bring a couple more civilians with us, or citizens. So well, let's uh, throw down some four-way hallways, maybe? I think would be the right thing to do. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you go do that. You're still constructing all of this bullshit. Which is gonna take like 5,000 years. I don't care about that at all. Oh man, we, we, have, uh, we have a lot of food. And I'm happy. We could bring in 15 more civilians. With no problems. Or citizens, or whatever you want to call them. I forget what they are. Colonists. Colonists. That's its names. That's its name. 
either this episode or next episode will be fully self-sufficient from Earth, which will be pretty freaking cool, I have to say. I think it will be really awesome. So, put a four-way hallway here, and then I think a straight hallway, and then another oxygen generator on the side right here. And then we should be good. So let's have, um, well, this guy's got to do his job first. If this fuck will move out of the way. Let's, let's move this shit out of the way, because it's just going to get in the way all the time, and I don't want that. We have a freaking solar panel here? I have not even been paying attention to these things. Because they no longer matter to me, to be 100% honest, they don't. They're, they're, they're really, like, really insignificant. Um, let's see here. And then a hallway straight, right here. If you can move out of the way, please. There we go. And then we'll build ourselves a little oxygen generator. Because these areas are probably not going to be filled with much oxygen at first. They're kind of far away from the oxygen generators. We're building more, so we're going to need more. It'd be really cool if we were able to make, like, self-sufficient oxygen. Like, you know, we keep having to make oxygen generators, but it'd be really awesome if we could just make, like, an oxygen plant. That would be really cool. So let's uh, send off a rocket with um, a lot, a lot of freaking supplies. Just maximum supplies on this rocket, that is. And apparently we can bring more colonists, so we're going to do that. And then we'll skip this, and then we'll see how close we are to being able to make, what is it called? Make a, a terraforming project? Can we do it now? We have 25 people. Can we? Do we believe? No, we can't. Damn. I was really hoping we'd be able to make it. It takes 20 supplies to do that? Oh my god. That is ridiculous. I mean, it makes sense. I totally understand why. It just sounds like so much. Are we losing water right now? Why are we losing water? Alright, well, we need to build one of these then. Wait, mission challenge, scientific progress. Congratulations, a mission patch has been awarded for scientific progress. Well, good for us. Good for us. Um... Don't really know what that means, but cool stuff. Yeah, we're definitely losing water right now. We have a little bit too many people and not enough water production, it seems. So we're going to build another little, you know, whatchamug thing going on. Whatchamug thing, that's right, you heard me correctly. I want to build one right here, but for some reason it won't let me attach it to it. Which is really weird. And it won't let me attach it over here either. either. Hmm. I wonder why it's doing that. That's really weird. Uh, we should hopefully be fine... Let's go grab some supplies with this thing and go head it over to where the guy's going. Because it's going to take him a long time to walk over here. Hopefully it figures out how to get over there. It seems good. This one's going to be, you know, taking the new storage devices out. The storage devices, crates out for supplies. And then, oh, we never built our freaking ha straight hallway, man. Put that there. What's going on? Some bullshit at Reno. Where's our astronaut? Oh my god, he's taking so long to get over here. All these thieves are so slow. And then, uh, well, we can't launch that off yet, because there's no reason to. We can launch this off. This shouldn't even be here. See you later, bro. You're like, you know, a waste to us. Um, oh, it's... Mm, so it's giving two beds to us that we need right now, so we can't actually do that. Unfortunately. Oh well. I, you know, it happens. It happens. We just gotta deal with it, okay? Now, one thing I want to know, can I build a habitat here? Let's first move this fucker out of the way. It doesn't look like I can, so no. Alright, so we definitely need to build an oxygen generator, though. I'm almost entirely sure. Let's put that right there. We can probably start opening up these doors. Yeah? Yeah, it seems good so far. Open that one up, too. So far, so good, and then we're probably going to put four-way hallways down a little bit, and then over again, we can probably fit in, like, two more habitats, and then I think we'll stop there for now. Oh, why is this... Really? This guy just came over here and didn't do anything? What an asshole. Go put on... Put yourself on automate. Go do, go do your thing. Alright, we got more than enough water now, so that's good. Oh my god, it took him so long to go over there. It really did. Still have two more supply on there, so we can't really do anything with that. And, uh, well, I guess this will be a great time to end the episode. Let's open this door up real quick to get the oxygen running. 
into there but you know maybe just maybe if this guy can you know finish building his freaking thing that would be nice yeah well don't you think that would be a really good thing this freaking astronaut just places his pallet down and was like I don't know man I'm just not gonna do anything else let's grab this one and do it combine you know, finish it off because this astronaut's super lazy there we go all right go automate and put that stuff away and then yeah we're good look at this full oxygen full ox well almost full oxygen there we go now it's nice and full and then I think uh, some habitats will be up into the future you know it's the future next episode and then uh, I think we'll be done I think we'll be done we'll maybe be able to bring in some more colonists next episode hopefully be able to do the terraforming project that's still a iffy can we do it can we not kind of question but we'll see we'll see anyways i'll see you guys next episode with many more soul zero episodes to come i'm sergeant